fourth and fifth graders, yesterday we talked about chiaroscuro, which is when a picture has very bright highlights and very dark shadows, and there's a lot of contrast. Yesterday we took a picture using chiaroscuro, we did a photograph. Today we're going to create a drawing that includes chiaroscuro. So you have two options. You can go back and look at the PowerPoint from yesterday and take your photograph or somebody else's photograph and draw it and shade it and try to create those highlights and shadows. Or you could follow my tutorial and I'm going to show you how to do a sphere that has highlights and shadows in this video. So it depends on how much you want to challenge yourself. Following along with me is probably going to be easier. Drawing your own picture is probably going to be harder, but you choose the one that is most exciting to you. So all you need for this um, is a paper, a pencil, something round to trace, and then um, if you have a black colored pencil or a black crayon, that will also be helpful. So I'm going to tip you down so you can see. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my circle and very lightly trace around it because I don't necessarily want this line to show later. So I'm going to do it really lightly so that um, I could erase it if I need to. Then I'm going to decide where my light source is. I'm going to decide that it's coming from this direction. So that's where I'm going to add an oval. And I'm going to try to leave that oval very white. If that's where my light source is coming from, then my shadow is going to be over here. So my sphere is going to create a shadow on the table that's very dark right there. And then also this part of my sphere is going to be very dark. So notice when I'm drawing these lines, I'm drawing them in a curved way. If I do it straight, that is going to make um, my sphere look flat and not like a round ball. So then I'm going to use my pencil and I want to try to gradually go from like a very light gray by not putting very much pressure on at all to a darker gray down here. And then that part at the very bottom of my sphere, I'm going to try to make very dark, almost black, which is why I had the colored pencil or the crayon. If you want to use those to help you get it super dark, you can. So in order to make this look as realistic as possible, you want to try to stay in the lines. If there's a lot of your pencil strokes that kind of go outside of your lines, it's not going to look as realistic in the end. So I'm going to bring my shadow up around this way to the side. And then I'm going to try to blend these together a little better. So you notice I have kind of a harsh line here, so I want to erase that and get rid of that because you wouldn't have a line around your highlight. And then down here, I'm going to try to make it very dark. I'm going to use my crayon. Blend the light to the dark a little bit to make it a little more realistic. And then I know down here I need it to be very dark too. So I could keep working at it and fixing any places that are not to my liking. My video cuts off after five minutes, so I can't go on too long, but you guys have plenty of time to take as much time as you need to add dark spots where you need dark spots. You could also use your eraser to kind of blend it if it's, you see a lot of harsh lines if you very lightly erase, that'll help blend it a little bit so you can't see your pencil strokes very much. And that's all you have to do. You could save this and show it to me in the Zoom tomorrow or um, put it in your Flipgrid on Thursday. There's my finished picture. Bye!